Welcome back to Movie Idol. So in this video, I want to break down all of the teaser images that were released for episode 15. There's a lot of them. I didn't even cover all of them because there's just too many of them. I have like 15 or 20 of them here that I do want to break down. A lot of stuff really hints at stuff that's going to be happening for sure in episode 15. Some of the Whisperer fair invasion stuff I do think is going to be happening just based off a few photos here. But obviously before I jump in and go into this any further, I do want to warn you for spoilers for the Walking Dead television series, more specifically episode 14 titled Scars. Now, like I said, everything's not really in order here. I'm just going to go based off of each image here and just sort of talk about what might be happening in each image. I always go through so much effort to like organize it all, but I just want to talk about the images. I also want to bring up some Enid stuff because I was supposed to do a video on that last week, but I'm going to talk about that in this video. Now we have this shot here of Luke and Eldon. And if you remember back in episode nine, they were talking about singing a song together or performing something for the fair. So I think that's what's happening here. They're holding a bunch of notes and I'm guessing they're going over some of the material or some of the music that they're going to be performing. I don't know if this is what the song is, but if you look, it says the way you do the things you do. And just by Googling that, it seems like it's a song by UB40. So maybe that's sort of a hint. Maybe that's what they're going to be performing, just their own sort of, I guess, rendition of it. It would be cool if they had this whole band, if like there were other characters that could actually perform and whatnot. Like that'd be really, really cool. We haven't actually had a band on the, like The Walking Dead. So to have something like that, it'd be weird, but it would be so different. And now's the time to do it because they're actually having the fair. Like now's the a perfect time to do it. Now, do I see any of these two characters dying? I don't see Elden dying anymore. If anything, I see Enid dying. I'm going to talk about that though once we get to that shot. As for Luke, just because he's on Fantastic Beast and he's a pretty big character on that movie or that because that franchise, I feel like he's probably going to die. But I am, I don't know. I'm, I just feel weird about it. There's then this shot here of when we have Ezekiel Carroll Michonne and Judith it seems like this is like happening right as they arrived so Carol and Ezekiel are just so happy because you know they're going to be shocked that Michonne even showed up because it's been years and years Michonne has just been so distant from everybody to actually see Judith and Michonne here like they're going to be over the moon happy this is why they're signing that thing afterwards I think Michonne's going to be okay with signing it. I think that's why I think Ezekiel might like ask Michonne or, like do you want to sign this it would be perfect it's the fair we can really celebrate this I think it'd be really amazing which might be actually what's happening in this shot here of Ezekiel standing up on the balcony. Like he could be revealing the whole entire thing, showing everyone's signature. Like everyone might be just like way too happy. Everyone's probably going to be too happy that it's going to feel really uncomfortable because we know what's happening next. We then have this shot here of Jerry and his wife. And I don't know, like I think Jerry's safe, but I feel like his wife is probably going to die. Like there's just, for some reason, we're constantly getting shots of just everyone here. Jerry is a character that hasn't lost anything really. In season seven, when he was introduced, he was just, you know, he was Ezekiel's right hand man. He was just always there. And if anything, he's just only went up from then, right? He has his whole family now. He has a bunch of kids. I think he has like two to four kids or something like that. So if his wife died, it would be Jerry having to raise like a, what two to four kids on his own. Like that's a crazy story in itself. That's a way you build a character like Jerry. You make him a fan favorite, even though he already is. But that's how you get a lot more people to connect with him. There's this shot here of Yumiko. And we see Luke on the left and Carol on the right. I think this is also their reaction to everyone showing up to the fair. They're probably having happy because Connie just showed up and they're all just going to rejoice and you know be all happy there's this shot here of Ezekiel and Carol and I think this might be maybe like right beforehand and then they're hearing something like someone's showing up and they're just like oh wait what is that and they sort of turn over and they see Michonne and them like entering the kingdom we have this shot here it's our first shot I guess of episode 15 of Eugene Gabriel and Rosita so who's dying out of these three? Sadiq is going to be on Talking Dead, and I want to do a video talking about this, I guess sometime this week, because Gimple's going to be on there. I do think there's a possibility anyways for some Rick Grimes movie news, and I, so we'll talk about that again in a separate video that coming this week, but Sadiq is going to be on Talking Dead, and so I'm wondering why he's going to be there. Like, is it just as simple as it's going to be a death? I don't know if it's going to be that simple. If anything, they're going to have a surprise cast member, which probably would be a death, and then I don't know. For some reason, I'm just thinking it's going to be Rosita. I don't want it to be her. I think she's a really awesome person to be on the show right now. But just, you know, she they're setting her up to die. And I just feel like they haven't really given her a lot to do in the last few weeks that she's sort of killable right now. Like she she did play a big role early on after like after Rick's final episode, episode six episode eight, I believe episode nine, I think it was she had the big reveal of her pregnancy. But other than that, she's been fine. Now I'm wondering if what he's holding in his hand, I can't really tell and I'm probably gonna get this wrong. But it looks like on his left, it's an antenna. 
And on the right, it could be like a radio. So are we going to get hints at the Commonwealth in episode 15 or 16? Are we going to see something like that where he's just kind of fiddling with a radio and then he connects with some other group? Or maybe it's like Rick's group, like the helicopter people, like maybe Eugene communicates with them or it's just someone like that. This is right around the time where it happens for Eugene in the comics. It's a little early by like five issues maybe, but they could introduce it this early. Like the Angela King has been changing up stuff all season. They could definitely introduce it this early. Now we have this shot, which is very, very weird. I don't know exactly who these people are, but I'm thinking they're whisperers. They look very, very friendly, but... I mean, just look at their clothes. You know, I, I'm thinking they're whisperers. They just have to be whisperers. And they're going to infiltrate this fair and act like, you know, they're just one of them. But they're probably going to contribute to whoever is going to die. So if Rosita dies, if Ezekiel dies, if any of those characters die, it might be one of these two characters that actually kills them with the aid of Alpha, obviously. This shot here, though, just confuses me. I think this is at the hilltop, but apparently this is from episode 15 i don't even know in what way or how this can relate to episode 15 because this looks like the hilltop and i, I just don't know who these characters are it doesn't look like it's th these characters here like these whispers just because the one on like the woman her hair is a little bit longer but maybe it's just because her hair is just done differently here and yeah i don't know like maybe th th there's a chance of it anyways maybe that's how they infiltrated the fair is that the they just disguise themselves as like people from the hilltop we then have this shot here of everybody looking up i'm assuming at ezekiel and maybe he's like going to be showing off the the charter michonne everyone assigned it what i love about this shot is that at least two or three characters just in this shot here are gonna die this is gonna be a shot that we're gonna be talking about after the episode like we're gonna all be like wow those people died there little did they know but those people are dead this shot here is of daryl and just based off of what he's wearing it seems like this is right as he arrives to the kingdom just because we have this shot here and he's sort of wearing the same thing and we see connie running up to kelly here we have this shot here of enid uh kelly and then connie now i do think enid is going to be a character that's gonna die and the reason why i'm thinking that is because the actress recently moved to Los Angeles. Now, why would that matter? Well, Chandler Riggs did the same exact thing when his character died. He moved from Georgia to Los Angeles. So because she did that, I'm just really under the impression that she's going to die because if Luke and Eldon die, or even if it's Eldon that dies, it's a little too obvious just because of what happened to him in episode nine of this season. It seemed like that, you know, they were setting him up to die, but to do Enid out of nowhere, like, that's a lot, and I'm honestly okay with it, I, I do like Enid as a character, but she hasn't really done anything, they gave her a little bit more this season, she became like a doctor, sort of, but I do think she's a character that could die, that's the thing with a lot of characters, anyone could really die, everyone is just too happy, even Carol, she's a character they could technically kill off, because she's not doing anything right now, she's just so happy, everything in her life is just so perfect, like, she's not really even dealing with this whisperer threat, you know, everything is just too happy, everyone's stories are sort of at the end game right now, so, in order to make other characters traject into different storylines, to build up something different, some other characters are going to have to die, and I think Enid is a character that could die, now, as for Connie and Kelly, out of those two there, I don't want Connie to die, because I just really love Connie right now, so, Maybe Kelly. I think she's a character that could die. It's going to be either Kelly or Luke from Magna's group. For sure, someone from Magna's group is definitely going to die. My bets right now are it's probably going to be either Kelly or Luke. We have this shot here of Alpha, and she's standing up above. Maybe it's the Whisperers. I don't know. This isn't like any time during the night, so maybe it's near the fair. Maybe something is happening here. Maybe she just made the Pike thing, or it's something like that. This is around the time for sure that the Pike scenes happen, because when she does that and she kills those people, it's not at night. It's like kind of late in the day, so this is around that time. Now, there's this shot here. Everyone's all happy. Notice how Elden's holding Enid again. Again, there's just something to this scene here. It's going to be one of those two characters. And because the actress who plays Enid moved to Los Angeles recently, I, for some reason, I'm just thinking it's going to be her. Another shot here, and we've already talked about this. This is Gabriel, Rosita, Sadiq. One of them's going to die. My guess right now is that it's going to be Rosita. And then we got this shot here of Henry and Lydia. Now, Henry, he's a character that I know he, he could die in this episode. He definitely could die in this episode. There, there's a way that they could make that work. As for what to expect from Lydia from episode 15, it's really hard to say. I think my basic prediction is that everyone's going to look to her. Daryl might have to really defend her because after the Pike thing happens, everyone is going to be very, very mad at her. Everyone's going to want to kill her or something. And people are going to want to do really bad things to her because she's one of them, right? She's a whisperer. And I think Daryl's going to have to really protect her. Now, I don't think we're going to be dealing with any of that in episode 15. 
I think that's going to be a finale issue. I really do. Another shot here of Jerry and his wife. Again, they're always together. I just think she's going to die. I don't know why, but I really do think she's going to die. And then we have this shot here, which I really, really love. I actually use this for a thumbnail in a different video, but this is Daryl and Yumiko. The two archers are together, so I love that. She's actually with him, uh, Carol, and Michonne when they go to the Whisperer camp, so they're definitely giving Yumiko a bigger role. A much bigger role than Magna, because she hasn't really done anything this season at all. Magna, like, it's Magna's group, and everyone calls it that because of the comics, but Yumiko has been doing more of the leading, if anything, and I just, honestly, I do prefer Yumiko as a character over Magna. My favorite characters from Magna's group, or I guess I shouldn't be saying that, but my favorite characters from that new group are Yumiko, and Connie. Honestly, after season 10, I think they're definitely going to grow on me to the point where they're just a part of the main cast and like, you know, they're going to be so unkillable at us at a certain point. I really like them as characters. Just seeing this shot here with Daryl and Yumiko, it's it's nice having another character like that. And then we have this last shot here of Lydia and Henry. And I mean, there's nothing really to read into it. But yeah, anyways, I'm excited for next week's episode. There's a lot more images out there. So just make sure you keep Google searching and stuff like that to find all these images. It's it's crazy, but we're going to be entering the, the big episode and i'm just i'm so excited for it but post your thoughts down below who do you think is going to end up on those whisperer pikes do you think enid is going to be a character that's going to die hope you guys all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching